show as the earth beneath him trembled. Lost and found through the door of time. Uncle Jack went searching and found the kids at last. Looking for a way to escape. Pot of water. What? Stall soup water. I had the water boiling for the soup. I went in to get the vegetables, and when I came out, the water was gone. Well, that doesn't make any sense. There's plenty of water around. I mean, why would somebody want to steal it? Right. But you know, it sounds just dumb enough. Maybe we ought to take it seriously. You think we ought to take a look around? No, you better stay here with Holly and Chaka. Whoever or whatever wasn't afraid to enter this compound the first time. Might come back. Why do you wait? Finish it now. How am I supposed to finish it? You are not who I thought. Well, all things considered, I think that's just as well. Who are you? How'd you get here? I'm called Lone Wolf. I was trying to reach my people. Your people? My tribe. Nez Perce. There's an epidemic of fever. Many are dying. I was bringing them medicine. Your medicine man? Yes, but it was the white man's medicine I was bringing. Could you steal our boiling water? I needed it to make Indian medicine. Why? I too had the fever. What about the medicine you were taking to your people? I was weak. My horse threw me and wandered off with it. I had ridden into a giant whirling dust storm. Afterwards, I think I was unconscious for some time. Yeah, well, you're still weak. That is no concern of yours. I'm making it my concern. Come on, get up. Why are you doing this? Because you're a human being, and so am I. Come on, let's go. Curious, a lone wolf. You speak like an educated man. Uh, what time period are you from? Time period? Oh, he means well, what year? 1877. What other year could I come from? Uh, well, I, I just meant that it's, uh, it's unusual to find an educated Indian in 1877. I am more fortunate than most of my brothers. Our great Chief Joseph was educated by the white man. He, in turn, taught me. You know Chief Joseph? Of course. He is our leader. He is my friend. Oh, wow. What's the matter, Chaka? Chaka, I hear strange noise. Much terrible creature. What kind of noise, Chaka? Uh, like... 
my horse. I must find him. I must get back to my people. Hey, Lone Wolf, look, I, you're not in any shape to do anything. Just take it easy. I must. I'll find your horse. All I need is a lariat, and it's off to the Old West. It's gonna hurt you. Sure would like to know who tied you up like this. One more move, and it's your last. Who are you? Captain Elmo Diggs, U.S. Cavalry. You about to steal my horse, son. I wasn't about to steal anything. What's this all about? Well, I had him staked out. I was waiting for someone to come and get him. But I didn't expect you. You were waiting for somebody in particular? Yeah, an Indian. An all-too-smart English-talking Indian. Lone Wolf. Why do you want him? Because he's a rotten, thieving savage. And he stole U.S. government property. And you're taking me to him. Now. Okay, let's move out. I'll ride the horse, and you walk ahead of me so I can keep an eye on you. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. I... You don't know nothing. You, you just you just do what you're told. All right? Get out there. It's empty. Out of ammunition, son. Hey, what's the matter? It's a fever. It's an epidemic at the fort. I really don't know how, how I got here. How I was chasing that pesky Indian, and I, I followed him into a, a roaring twister, and... First thing I know, I, I wound up in this strange place. Need help. We can ride together. You can lean on me. Come on. Easy. Uncle Jack, I wonder what's taking Will so long. Well, I don't know. But if he's not back soon, I'm going after him. I'm, I'm seeing things. If I told you any different, you wouldn't believe me. I know one thing. That's no buffalo. Come on, Captain. It's not much further. He's sick. Right. Who is he? Captain Elmo Diggs, miss. U.S. Cavalry. U.S. Cavalry? Uh, that's him. Uh, we'll save the introduction until later. Let me help you get inside. I'll take care of the horse. What horse? That's what he is, Chaka. A horse. Thanks, Marshal. Sorry. Right. I've seen this fever take a lot of. A lot of good men. <laughs> Somehow, I never thought it'd get me, though. <sighs> he means a lot of good white men, Mr. Marshall. Lone Wolf? Well, I see you two know each other. Yeah. To know him is to hate him. Easy. 
Dirty thieving. I stole nothing. I took what was mine, my people's. Yeah. And you left the people at the fort to die of the fever. That medicine belonged to the Nez Perce. All right, now hold it, both of you. Look, I don't know much about the trouble between the two of you, but I know one thing, Captain, you're too sick to fight with anyone. It's a simple matter to explain, Mr. Marshall. There is, as you know, an epidemic of fever. It does not distinguish between white men or red. He stole the medicine. Is that true? The white soldiers at the fort used up their allotment of medicine. The Indian agent gave them the medicine consigned to my people. Is that the way it was, Captain? I don't know anything about any consignment. All I know is that our men are dying. So you took what you believed to be rightfully your own. That medicine belonged to my people. Then why didn't you cure them? I mean, you're a medicine man. You cured yourself. It is true. I cured myself using the old ways. But I am only one man. I cannot cure my whole nation. The white man's medicine can be everywhere at once. Get back. Get back to the fort. Lone Wolf. Captain Diggs is a very sick man. I'm no doctor, but I don't think he's gonna last the night. You could save him. Really? Oh, please, Lone Wolf. I will try. Good. Thank you. There is one condition. Well, you can have anything we have. Anything. I want nothing of yours. What do you want? The horse. Well, the horse isn't ours to give. It is because of the captain I lost my horse. Now his is the only way I have of getting back to my people, to help them. Seems a small enough price. A horse or a life. You have the horse. I will take it now. Now? I must gather things that I need to make medicine. It will be faster with the horse. All right. How long will it take you? One hour. No more. Do you really think it'll work, Uncle Jack? Holly, I don't think we have any other choice. Boy, Lone Wolf sure was in a hurry. Where's he going? I think we'll have to collect whatever he needs to make his Indian medicine. For Captain Diggs. Think you'll come back? You should have never let him go. You'll never see him or that horse again. Back. No, miss. You can't trust him. You can't trust any of them. <laughs> Don't you see? All he wanted was the horse. Why the horse? <laughs> because there's two of us and one horse. And that's the only way either of us will get back. <laughs> Time's up. I'm going after him. How are you going to find him, Uncle Jack? Oh, he won't be hard to track, Ollie. After all, he's riding the only horse in the land of the lost. We'll keep an eye on the captain. Oh, <laughs> 
get you out of there, but you're gonna owe me. Be right back. Hey, Grumpy, this fooled you once. Let's hope you're a slow learner with a short memory. of beast was that? Oh, he, he's native to the region. You probably understand it. Where the supplies you're gonna get? Well, the animal attacked before I was able to find what I need. Yeah, well, uh, maybe we'll better luck together. You get on the horse. I'll take the reins. And you just tell me what we're looking for. I don't want that savage coming in and wearing me or me. It's your only chance, Captain. None of us here know how to cure that fever. <laughs> cure? <laughs> he more likely want to poison me. He knows what's waiting for him back at the fort. If I pull through this... He cured himself. He's the only one who knows how to cure you. Feeling better. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, listen, I think the rest of us better get to bed. It's gonna be morning soon enough. Why are you doing this? All right, now what's this all about? He's my legal prisoner. Prisoner? That's right, miss. I'm under orders to take him back to the fort for trial. He wasn't under orders when he saved your life. Now look, I don't claim to be proud of what I'm doing, but I'm a soldier and I have an obligation. Obligation? That's right. Well, Captain, I can't think of any obligation greater than the one that you have to Lone Wolf. Oh, 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 all right, miss. 
Captain, you are indeed an officer and a gentleman. <laughs> well. <laughs> Lone Wolf, there's, uh, there's something I want to ask you. When you went out to get the things you needed to make your medicine, were you intending to come back? What do you think, Mr. Marshall? Without that horse, I'll never get back to the fort. <laughs> he means you, Captain. He's waiting for you. Well, I, I want to thank you, Mr. Marshall, all of you, for many things. Good luck. Goodbye. Well, Lone Wolf, you don't owe me anymore. Not anything. You know, Uncle Jack, I finally figured out why Lone Wolf stole the boiling water. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, he needed it to cure the fever. And he couldn't build his own fire because Captain Diggs was following him and he might see the smoke. I'll buy that. Uncle Jack, do you really think that Lone Wolf and Captain Diggs will get back to their own time? Well, that's hard to say, Holly. But at least they're trying together. And in the long run, that's really more important. Holly, if you really like the idea of going home, listen to this song I just wrote. A place that I see in a memory of me Pass every day I'm drifting away To where life is free and is calling to me Come back again I'm dreaming again Of home My home My home Ha <laughs> ha